Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. you're no, Mr. President elect. Go Mr. Ahead. President elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you're, you are is attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state can, Quiet. Mr. President elect? Go ahead. Can you state categorically She's asking a question. Don't Mr. Be President elect, can you give us a question? Don't be you're rude. attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? I'm not going to give you a question. Can you state categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Can you state categorically that nobody no, Mr. President-elect, that's not Go appropriate. Ahead. My name is Kyle, and welcome to the channel. That was a clip from President Trump right after he got elected. I guess it was his first press conference. And at the time, I don't know if you remember, but CNN was doing this thing on Trump, saying that things that he said is fake news. And what Trump did at that press conference right there was to flip the script and put the fake news squarely, label I mean, on CNN. And that right there is what began the downfall, I believe, of their marketing and branding. And so the point of this video is actually to talk about CNN in the context of Chris Wallace, the son of legendary reporter Mike Wallace from 60 Minutes and other things as well. But Chris Wallace left Fox News to go to said CNN thinking, I guess, that it would be a better career choice. Now, I have a video I'm gonna show from him, well, actually from CNN, right after he announced that he was leaving Fox News, and take a look at this clip right here. Chris Wallace is the highest profile person to uh, come out and really uh, go after Fox, and you know he says it was unsustainable and that he spent much of 2021 looking for another place right. to go, and so it looking seems CNN- job. Looking for a new job. Yeah. yeah, CNN is now that solution. Right, so he's going to have a show called Who's uh, Who's Talking to Chris Wallace, uh, an interview show that starts on Tuesday. Here's another quote from the interview. Yeah, check this quote out. This quote here is, this quote here is is really, really funny. Check this out. In the New York Times, he says, there has not been a moment where I have second-guessed myself about the decision to leave Fox. So he doesn't have any regrets, any hesitation about doing the right thing. I, I think what's so striking <laughs> is that Wallace is saying something a lot of our sources at Fox have said which is that the place really changed. And I wonder how he feels about that decision right now. Let's check out this article from Town Hall from Matt Vespa. <laughs> he says here, people make bad career moves. Ain't that the truth? It happens all the time. Keith Oberman left MSNBC. Remember that guy, Keith Oberman? He was on SportsCenter. I used to love Keith Oberman. I mean, he was the man. And yeah, then he became pretty much unwatchable. He left to go to MSNBC only to get relegated to nonsensical creeds on Twitter. You got David Caruso from NYPD Blue, which I never watched, but the point has been made. He goes on to say here, I am sure you heard the news. The liberal network subscription service is in DEF CON screwed territory. DEF CON being the indication for nuclear preparedness against foreign aggressions. They're using that terminology in this situation basically saying that CNN is a dumpster fire. After only two weeks, only a hundred thousand people are somewhat using it on a regular basis. And we're talking about CNN plus. See what happened was Chris Wallace left Fox news, the number one cable news television network in the history of television. Not even close. It's always been number one. Only a few times it sank to number two here and there for a few weeks. But for the most part, it's dominated. Left them to go to CNN, who is a failing network. And Trump, in the very beginning from that press conference as president-elect, called them out on that. And then the narrative has flipped. Something that they started to call conservatives fake news. Trump flipped that on his head. And now CNN is synonymous to fake news. And their viewership has been tanking for months. <laughs> For months, we've been documenting that on this channel quite a bit. Says that Disney Plus, when it launched, got 20 million in a day, but CNN Plus, after two weeks, only has a hundred thousand people viewing. I'm hearing it's like 10,000 people a day watching CNN Plus. Guys, who would actually pay for CNN on their own? Do you remember when CNN was like pumped into airports for like years and years and years and you had to be 
you have to be forced to watch CNN while you're at an airport? Well, I think that was the reason why the numbers were so high as what they were, because you had to watch it. And I believe that changed where they no longer had the contract or no longer were being pumped into these airports. So now people no longer have to watch them on a daily basis, mainly because people are tuning them out anyway on their cell phones and with their headphones and watching what they wanted to watch that way. Says he was lured from the network by CNN's Jeff Zucker. Zucker then went on to bolt because he it was revealed that he was having an undisclosed relationship with his CNN communications executive. So the person that brought him on is no longer there. And so what we're hearing now is that he is having temper tantrums on the set. We have a source here, John Nicosia from News Politics, says here, source, Chris Wallace is having, quote, having daily breakdowns, unquote, over the, quote, miserable launch, unquote, of CNN Plus. Wants, quote, CNN show or threatening to walk, unquote. So in other words, he wants a CNN show. And according to that Brian Seltzer interview there, it says that he was supposed to get one. I wasn't following it. So he doesn't have a show, it seems, on CNN Plus. And he's having, quote, having staffers count how many times a day his promo is playing, unquote. And this is from a couple of days ago. Also continued here, he says, quote, he's telling anyone that will listen, he wants Cuomo's old time slot, unquote. We all know Chris Cuomo, he was fired for advising his brother, ex New York governor, Andrew Cuomo, when the latter was engulfed in serial allegations of misconduct. Chris was in constant contact with his brother's top staffers, even suggesting that he could get information on Andrew's accusers. That is cruddy. He was actually going, this is a sidestep here, but he was actually going after potentially the accusers of his brother. And that of course is a horrible thing. He says here, it was beyond unethical. He was also slapped with a harassment charge prior to his termination. And oh, Don Lemon is also facing those types of allegations as well. The whole network is in a dumpster fire. Are we shocked that their subscription venture crashed and burned as well? Well, the whole thing really comes down to this is that CNN has never been popular with people. At least it's been since probably the early 2000s, right around 9-11. But once they started going off the rails and reporting news and gaslighting people on stuff that was obviously not true, obviously slanted. And by the way, it's okay to be slanted. I think the main problem with CNN is the fact that they tried to portray themselves as down the middle as being independent journalism when they're not. Fox News admittedly is conservative. MSNBC somewhat is admittedly liberal. But CNN wants you to say, Guys, we are the most fair people. We report things down the middle. We have no bias whatsoever. Gaslighting people, and we know better, and people don't want to be lectured to when they know what you're saying to them is crap, okay? And that's why CNN has been failing for years now. And I think a part of that is because of what Trump said to them to decrease their brand. And people realize, you know, they are terrible. And next thing you know, you had other organizations calling them out and it just became the narrative that CNN is fake news. And so when Chris Wallace left Fox News, the behemoth of cable news television, to go to that, he almost seems like he believed the press clippings of what liberals typically do. They believe what they write. Their narratives are false. They believe these narratives. They act on these narratives and they wonder why they fail. It's because you started with a bad premise, acted on the bad premise, and now you are reaping the results of acting on said bad premise. But what do you think about this? What do you think about CNN? What do you think about, well, I kind of know what you think about CNN. What do you think about Chris Wallace going over to CNN after saying that he has no regrets of leaving Fox News and this and that, wanting his own show, threatening to storm off the set, having a parent temper tantrums. What's your thoughts? I think it's absolutely hilarious. Comment below. I'd be curious to know what you think. As always, if you like what we do in this channel, we take pop culture and politics and filter it to you, right? 
then please check out some more content that we have for you right here.